Hey everybody, welcome to Psychotic Plays, and today is another free play. It's a little game called Fishing Planet that is actually free on Steam. Um, <clears throat> but I, uh, I wanted to take a little bit of time and cast, make a cast with your fishing rod. Okay, hold on. F1 to close. And uh, pick something a little more relaxing because it's been a while since I've been able to upload. So I thought. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ah, ah. Bait was eaten or lost. Oh. Release. When you cast on your own, try to catch two or more fish. Okay, so I thought it would be good to have a little talk today and just kind of try to do an update for you guys with what's been happening with me and, um, <clears throat> one second, what I have been trying to do with the channel and uh, the gameplay stuff, basically. Um, so, <clears throat> first off, uh, what's been going on with the channel? So we've been a little slow on updates here recently. And that's really because <clears throat> uh, some stuff has really been happening with um, all of us, with you know everybody who's involved with the channel. Me, mostly, it's uh, personal. It's just out of this work stuff, outside of YouTube work stuff. Um, that's really, really been kind of dragging me down lately. I, uh, I have been... Eh? Did I get you? Did I get you? Nice. So, uh, it's been personal, um, work stuff. Um, I used to work... I work, I'm supposed to work five at a place that is approximately five minutes away from where I live now. Um, and that's because my fiance goes to school full time and also works. So, can I wander through the woods? Um, so, I only have one car, so I don't have a car to use, and I made that very clear to the people who hired me. Um, I said, listen, you know, uh, one of the whole reasons I'm moving here is because I don't have a car to use, and I, uh, I really need, uh, you know, So, I, uh, and it went fine for a while, you know, um, anybody who's been with the channel for a little bit knows that my work schedule is a little hectic, but it's not all in all bad. I work a lot of hours sometimes, and I get a lot of time off, which gives me a lot of time to work on this channel. Well last six months or so I haven't had a work day that has I haven't had a work last six months or so I have not had a 40 hour I've only had two 40 hour work weeks two 40 hour work weeks is what I've had in the last six months everything else has been under 20 hours so the issue here is they were going they said okay um well you're gonna have to start traveling now if you want hours so the no option. I, I there's no option in it. I was never told um, that was going to have to be part of it when I was hired. If it was, I would have made adjustments or I would have changed some things. I might not even have taken the job. But they said um, basically, it's yeah. If you want hours, you're going to have to travel. So now, last four weeks or so, I've been traveling two hours 
uh, one way and then two hours back. So the minimum amount of time I've been traveling Hmm, that was weird. Minimum amount of time I've been traveling is four hours a day in the car. And because I don't have a car, I'm carpooling with um, a co-worker of mine who's also a friend of mine. Um, I don't get to do what's called personal mileage. Basically, personal mileage means that if you... Hmm, if you use your car, they'll pay you so many cents a mile for having to travel. Well, since I don't have a car, I'm not getting that. So I'm traveling four hours a day out of my way to go to these places and help them work. And they are doing um, literally nothing for me. Like, I make less than every single one of their techs, every single one of the people they have working for them. I make less than them. And they expect me to work just as hard, if not harder. And I make a considerable amount less than them. Uh, in some situations, up to $15 an hour less. So it's been really, really stressful and really, really upsetting for me. And I haven't had a chance to um, really do much. I... Uh, So, you know, <clears throat> I've been stressing out about that, and it's just, uh, so that's been kind of stressful. When traveling, you pay for a trip and every day of fishing, so it's cheaper to travel from the first day. Next, 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 next. Hey, I'm a level two fisher. Okay. There. There. Travel. Um, so, basically, I've had to, if I work like an 8 to 5 shift, which is a pretty normal shift for me, um, pretty normal shift for me, I actually work from 6 to 8. Because I'll be on the road and away for so long that there's almost... Uh, and then it's, it's hours I'm not getting paid for. And it's just really, really super stressful for me. So I have been... Uh, so I've been dealing with that and it's made it kind of hard for me to keep up on a streaming schedule or an upload schedule. Um... So, we, uh, hmm. so, uh, hopefully here soon I'll be back at what's referred to as my home property, um, and that should give me a little bit more time to come back to you guys and get the streams up and going again and get the uploads up and going again, um, so... I, uh, you know, that that's what I'm hoping for right now. Now, the other thing is, um, I, you know, even, even not doing this stuff, I still try to keep up on what's happening in the world of YouTube and, and with game developers and stuff like that, so I can try to find the best, the best stuff for, for me to put out for you guys. Um, and... I've been seeing a lot of stuff where some developers are upset when they take these really, really uh, linear narrative stories. Uh, example: Firewatch and uh, that cancer or that dragon cancer and stuff like that. Um, because the developers are, are kind of thinking, "Hey, why are people going to pay for our game?" if they can just watch it on YouTube. And I can really understand where they're coming from because they put tons of time and effort into these games and they, uh, you know, if they're not getting anything back out of it, they might not be able to continue that. So, it's kind of like, 
I, I want to support these developers because I buy the games to play for you guys, and I want to play games that you guys like. But I also want to support them in a way that more people will go out and buy the games, especially the ones I really, really like. Um, uh, Stanley Parable being one of them. Man, I love the Stanley Parable. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of... Um, Firewatch. Which is one I just finished playing and I've been uploading the playthrough through playthroughs of I haven't had a chance to do it recently um, so so yeah that, that's kind of where we're at now so my question to you guys is so I'm thinking of changing the channel over to more open world stuff with some kind of highlight reels for stuff like Firewatch and Stanley Parable um, but I want to know what you guys think it's really important to me that I do something you guys enjoy, but that I can also help these developers become bigger so that we can have more better games than the kind of general thing that's been coming out recently. Because there's a lot of games that are uh, kind of exactly alike, and I would rather see new different stuff come out than have the same old AAA, not that I don't enjoy AAA action shooters, don't get me wrong, I like to sit down and put a gun against an alien's head and execute him more than, as just as much as anybody, um, but I also want to see games get better, become more of a narrative and a storyline than, than they, they have been, so I'm, I'm asking you guys, do you think, w would you still enjoy the channel? If I switched over to something like um, playing open world games like Ark and The Forest and uh, The Long Dark, and then just switched stuff like Firewatch and uh, let's say Alien Isolation, um, stuff like that to kind of like highlight reel, so you wouldn't really see the whole thing. And and just just moving that way forward seeing if that's something that you guys would enjoy watching and if so how would you like to see that um, you know the more responses I get this the, the easier it's gonna be for me to what's the word uh, gear the channel towards what you guys want to see and and that's just gonna be great that's gonna be better for everybody in the future that way I can you know everybody knows what's gonna happen so those, those are the changes I want to make with the channel, with my portion of the channel. Obviously, there's a bunch of us who are in Kronos. Um, but since I handle, you know, 95% of the gameplay stuff, uh, I'm just coming to you guys and kind of asking what you want to see and what you would like to see from it. So, yeah, that is... I'm going to keep it. Um... That's, that's where I'm at. I, I wanted to give you guys an update with where I am in my life right now, which at this very moment I'm pretty upset. Um, you know, I have a job I thought was a good job and that would last for a while before some other stuff started taking place and now it's just steadily, steadily going downhill. And uh, I've been kind of depressed about it and, and it's it's been affecting me lately. Um, so... Yeah, so I thought I would come to you guys and just mention it and see what you thought of it. Like I said, uh, we'll go over some TLDRs here. If uh, it's going on with the channel, I should be back uh, in a pretty big capacity here shortly. Um, as far as the gameplay videos go, those might change. It depends on what you guys say. Uh, if you guys want to see something like that, awesome. Let me know. If you guys don't want to see something like that, let me know. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I know my videos aren't as big as some of the others on the channel, so I do. I want to see what you guys want to see from me. And yeah, so I think that is pretty much where we're at right now, guys. Um, I'm not actually sure how long I've been talking, but I think I got all the pertinent details. Um, and 
I just wanted to say, guys, thank you so much for watching, joining me in the streams, stuff like that, because you guys keep me from having to pay for therapy. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Like I said, any comments you have on the changes I'm looking to make, any comments you have for the channel, please let me know. As always, I love all of you, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.